This week on Jersey Matters. What happens to Medicaid in New Jersey when Obamacare goes away? If either repeal or replacement occurs, I have to tell you there'll be dramatic effects to New Jersey. Also, keeping babies safe when they sleep in New Jersey. This was a known suffocation hazard. This accident with Garrett would have been totally preventable had we been properly educated and had the stores not sold this together with the play yard. And extreme exercise for a good cause. It was a tragic event and we, lo we lost someone really dear to us, my husband, my son's father, um, but we picked up the pieces and um, we keep moving forward. And um, we ride every year to honor him and all the other police officers that have given the ultimate sacrifice. And in a moment, I will interview Senator Ray Lesniak, who will be leaving the state Senate after almost four decades in Trenton. We'll talk with him about his career and his current fight to bring sports betting to New Jersey. But first, a few words about this show. As you may have noticed, we made some changes to the set and we're expanding Jersey Matters to an hour as part of our station's commitment to New Jersey, our state of license. We would also like to start a nightly newscast. But for that to be financially feasible, we need for the FCC to act and mandate that we be carried by New York cable operators on our over-the-air channel, which is Channel 3, something they give without question to New York stations. Right now, we are found on different stations depending on your cable operator. Getting our over-the-air channel is in the FCC's own law. They're ignoring the law, this station and the people of New Jersey, by simply not making a ruling and leaving us in limbo and without the ability to deliver to you a nightly newscast. You can get involved by writing to the FCC and telling them you would like them to rule on WJLP Channel 3 so we can better serve a public who has been all but ignored by the New York news stations. Go to the FCC's online site at FCC.gov slash consumers where you'll see instructions to file a complaint. Tell them you won a nightly newscast in New Jersey. And now for our big interview with a man who just ran a fierce but unsuccessful run for governor. Ray Lesniak has been in the state senate since 1983 and before that in the assembly since 1978. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you. And first thing I'm going to do when I get home is sign that complaint to the FCC for I, you guys. I really appreciate that. I wish that the state could do more, but I know this is a federal issue. Let's talk about your run for governor, first sure. of all. What did you learn? Um, I learned a lot. Uh, I learned a lot about different communities and uh, different groups uh, that I had never had an opportunity before. I also learned that if you have the money, you have an opportunity to win. <laughs> and if you don't have the money, you have no opportunity. I've, it, yeah, it's I, interesting you're yes, bringing that up. Yes. Because I know you are backing Phil Murphy. Now. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Uh, but, but is it dangerous that when a guy can buy an election? Is he buying the election? Certainly it's dangerous, uh, uh, an, an abnormal use of money. It happens all the time, though. Uh, we're not going to stop it. Uh, Phil Murphy is going to be a good governor. I'm supporting him. Uh, I just wish we had a, a level playing field uh, where I believe that I had the better record for sure and the vision for New Jersey but I was not able to get that message out. One of the things you did when you announced you were running for governor was say that you're going to retire now. Yeah, and, and so at the end of this year, I guess the beginning of next year, yeah. you'll be stepping away, and that'll well, make 40 years. Yeah, but I'm retiring from the Senate. I get it. Not from serving the people of the that state of That was New my Jersey. next question. Yes. Well, what are you going to do? Well, first of all, I'm very excited about uh, what Kane University has asked me to do, and that is to, to start, they want to start an institute, Raymond J. Lesniak Institute, uh, for social justice. We have such a low participation in our democracy. Uh, and with Kane particularly, because it has such a high percentage of minority students, uh, getting them involved, these millennials, uh, can, who just like disappear off, off the, the face of the earth in terms of electoral politics, getting them involved at this stage is a very exciting opportunity for me. What, one of the things you're involved with right now that I want to talk about is your uh, undying fight to bring sports 
sure. betting to New Jersey. Yeah. You got an important ruling by the Supreme Court Huge. where they've decided to take your case. Yes. What's unusual about it is that, and I, do, I think you'll agree with me, you're about as liberal as they can come. Yes, I am. You're, and we're relying on the Tenth Amendment. And you're States counting... States' rights. You are counting <laughs> on a conservative <laughs> Supreme Court. And on Gorsuch, the, the new, the new just, justice. And I believe it was his uh, influence that uh, got them to, to take the case. Oh, absolutely. Hey, we'll take it. Whatever, whatever works to give New Jersey the advantage that Las Vegas has. Atlantic City is a ghost town during the uh, Final Four, uh, NCAA, and during the entire NCAA tournament, during the entire week of, uh, of the Super Bowl. All big events, even like the Masters. So it will uh, bring, breathe life, huge life into Atlantic City, and also our racetracks, which are, which are uh, losing support uh, as well. And we have more horse farms under acre, acreage in New Jersey than any state in the nation. It's amazing. Now, normally, when I talk to somebody who is such an advocate for something, I yes. try to play devil's advocate okay. and come up with the other side. Sure. I can't, for the life of me, huh. in, in 2017, come up with an argument against allowing every state in the union to have gambling, considering the fact that we have FanDuel and these online yeah. sites and office well, polls. And even, even before that, we had organized crime betting rings, and we have offshore internet sites. Anybody can put a bet in on any sport. People are gambling they during want. the games Absolutely. in the stands. Well, in um, the NFL plays four games at Wembley Stadium in London. They're betting on the games. It's legal there. Why are they opposing our our ability to uh, to have legal uh, sports betting? It's and now there's going to be an NFL team in Las Vegas. And so. I, yes, exactly. Well, we're going to win. I, I mean, I, I'm very, very confident we're going to win the. For the, for the Supreme Court to have taken on this case after they asked the Solicitor General his opinion, and he said, don't take the case. They took it anyway. They're determined to rule in our favor. And we'll get, next Super Bowl, I plan on betting on the Giants to win. <laughs> Yeah, right here in New Jersey. I'm from Philadelphia, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> Sorry I'm, I'm, about that. I'm kind of hoping that okay. doesn't happen. I, I want to I want to take advantage of the fact that you're here and you've been in Trenton, as we said, in the open for 40 years. Sure. Looking back on the 40 years, there's been mm -hmm. dysfunction in Trenton. What is the what is the core source of that? Is it greed? Well, let me say first of all that it, it wasn't always that way. Uh, I passed the most significant environmental protection laws in the country, signed by Governor Tom Kane, a Republican. Um, and then somewhere along the line, and just like we see in Congress, uh, winning wasn't just uh, everything, it was the only thing. So I don't know that it's about greed, but it's about power. I was very disappointed in some of our Democratic leadership, whom I've accomplished so much for on the issues that Democratic principles, uh, that they chose to go with the money rather than the democratic principles. You know, that's life, that's politics, but it's also what's wrong with politics. Uh, and as long as that continues, um, you know, we're not going to get the government that we need and, and the public deserves. We have to, people have to be more involved in government for it to work. Let me ask one last question about the pension fund, because it seems okay. like it's the biggest problem the state has. It's why we get downgraded time and time again. Not is the that, only reason, but Well, it the seems like the biggest reason. reason. It's the, the one that Moody's quotes. For sure. Is it sustainable, the pension fund? Does it have to change? The pension fund is sustainable. I mean... The uh, pension and, system. Uh, excuse me. The pension system is sustainable. Uh, but by the way, Governor Christie actually did a good thing. <laughs> when we put the, um, uh, the, the lottery... Uh, value that's like 13 billion dollars into the pension fund uh, that was a good move um, and now what has to do is we have to be what has to happen uh, is the next governor hopefully Phil Murphy in my opinion uh, sits down with the public employees and can say look we're on a we, we have to sustain uh, this fund it's the most important thing in a person's life certainly whether you're a public or a private employee you don't want to have to worry about whether that pension is going to be there when you sports retire. Sports betting will help sports to bring it full circle. Be, sports betting will be huge. So it can happen. There's opportunities to get it done. Uh, whoever is uh, 
the governor. Uh, I'm willing, able, willing, and able to help them uh, serve the people of the state. We will continue our conversation with Senator Ray Lesniak in a moment. He's in the middle of the fight against Exxon. He claims that Exxon is walking away with $1 billion in New Jersey money when we come back.